Hey Israel Skills, welcome back to another Eternal Evolution video. We dove deep into Rick and found out several great things, but also a huge disappointment to one of his abilities. I slowed this video down because the animations happen so fast and assassins move around so quickly, it may be hard to see it, so I recommend using a large screen if possible. Here you'll see Rick using Sword Soul. He stopped for a second, and you can see a blue circle at the bottom of his feet, and then sword starts spinning around him. If you look around the top of the heads of all the other characters, you'll see that they start glowing blue as well. Now you'll see a sword over their head. So therefore, Sword Soul has now been activated on all the assassins that happen to be on the battlefield. I will go over all of the abilities at the end of this video. That way we can walk through and take a look at them, including his exclusive upgrades and even his talent points if we need to. So the reason I brought him to Terror Dome is I wanted to test his immunity. And unfortunately, it is very disappointing what I found out, well, at least to me. I selected this because of the boss ability, which will hit a single target four times if no other hero is around in that area. Therefore, we know Rick will be hit four times with this ability. And I'm playing this at full speed first, and then I'll slow it down, and I'll play it a little bit at a, a, a less quick rate, so you can really see what happened. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I appreciate you all coming to support the channel. You can see Sword Soul being cast by Rick and giving himself one sword. Now he teleports behind the boss. Three minutes and 53 seconds, he popped one of his immune to damage passives. Now he uses Falling Sword, which teleports him behind the boss again. At 350, he popped his second and last immune to damage passive and died instantly to the four hit combo. Based on the rest of his abilities, it does not appear that he'll gain a duration or time that this can be extended um, like Leo does for his immunity, which lasts for several seconds. This doesn't make the champion terrible, and we will review his abilities, and you can make this determination for yourself. Sword Guard, which is Rick's passive. Every time Rick absorbs one sword soul, he is healed for 8% of the max HP, which scales up with different levels here. When Rickett receives a fatal injury, he becomes immune to all damage, teleports to a random assassin, ally including himself, that then absorbs the sword souls. This effect can be triggered two times per battle. Now, the talent effect, when fatal injury is prevented, the cooldown of following Vanguard is refreshed. Which, that's very important because that, in a second you'll see, is how he teleports. Following Vanguard, teleport behind the enemy with the lowest HP, then inflict 740 percent damage to them which scales up to 980 percent damage his talent effect will just increase his critical damage by 20 percent for that skill now we're at sword soul we're at one sword soul to allied assassins when a hero with a sword soul performs a basic attack the sword soul will attack with them inflicting 40 percent of records attack as damage to an enemy each hero can have a total of two sword souls and this also scales up with damage to 55 percent uh record gains 50 percent basically that's the way i want to read this to you guys 50 percent of the crit rate of all allies with a sword soul so if there's four allies that all had let's say 100 percent crit rate rick would get 25 percent crit rate from each of them giving rick 100 percent crit rate finally we have the ultimate here soul strike Slash behind the enemy, inflicting four instances of slash damage. Each slash inflicts 320% of attack damage. Talent effect, when casting a skill, Rick absorbs all sword souls on the battlefield. For every three sword souls absorbed, he slashes the target one additional time. So one of the questions we had early on was, how many sword souls could he have on the battlefield? And based on what we see here, it looks like the maximum sword souls you can get by increasing it one time for each person will give you three total. So if every single one of the assassins have three total, you could have, and this includes Rick also. So don't forget Rick is getting this as well. So that means if there's four assassins in the, the playing field, including Rick, everyone has three, that's four additional slashes that Rick could get. All right, so now we have Rick's exclusive. The first one is Enhanced Ultimate Skill. When this skill is cast, refresh the cooldown of Sword Soul Mantra. This is huge. That's going to be a huge damage increase because basically his ultimate takes them all away and he eats them and uses it to slash away and to heal. So now it's going to reapply that automatically. So really, he takes it away, but he's giving some of it back. Next, you have Sword Soul Mantra Enhanced. 
The max amount of sword souls that a hero can have is increased to one. The skill cooldown is reduced by six seconds. Again, that is huge. Um, doesn't say how long its cooldown is, I don't believe, but six seconds off of that is going to be a big deal. And also adding one additional one, that's a lot more damage being applied. Next, we have Sword Soul Guardian Enhanced. Fatal Injury can be triggered one additional times in a single battle. Again, I think this is huge because we all know that when that gets triggered, he has the opportunity to use Falling Sword, which basically teleports him um, to another location to do damage. So this is very important. Enhanced Ultimate Skill. For every two Sword Souls absorbed, perform one additional slashes. So again, this is just going to be more damage for him. I was slightly disappointed to hear and see that his ultimate immunity doesn't necessarily work similar to Leo. It's definitely a, a lesser version of Leo um, quite a bit, and his survivability did take a hit. But I still think he has a really good kit to help him survive. And as I level him up here over the next couple of days and get him more evolutions, um, we will test if his survivability does seem to be stronger. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one.